Hi all, I wanted to talk with you about how to restore your memory part 5 don't, and don't beat yourself up and don't worry or be anxious so basically I just thought you know <coughs> sorry I think God is just basically giving me, give me, give me to me to do it this way in different parts because of because because I'm sure there's a p purpose for it because I could have wrapped it up in one in one video but I think God knows what he's doing anyway but you know I'm not trying to um, you know you probably don't want to hear anything about God but just try and watch the video all the way through if you can and try and try and, and try and understand that you know if you've tried tried everything can not find the answer to restoring your memory you know prayer is prayer prayer is the key but don't but don't misunderstand me please because um you know if you've tried everything if you if you've tried if you've tried everything and it doesn't work then just try prayer prayer pray to Jesus pray to God pray to God and cuz there is no one no there is no better answer there even if you even if you, even if you, even if you've tried it before just keep trying it and persevere in it and also look after yourself eat healthily and exercise as well and just look after yourself don't 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 abuse your body in in whatever way possible just keep yourself just as just as you was born into this uh, into this earth and you know don't beat yourself up if you can't remember if you can't remember anything don't worry about it don't be anxious don't be con don't be concerned you know just just seek prayer seek god seek jesus so yeah especially when it com becomes serious i think that's when it becomes al 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 alzheimer's so yeah Yeah, so you know, you know, just, just, just remember, just remember and recall that, you know, somebody's in, somebody's in control up there. You know, what once, once we know that God is in control, we can only know that He, he looks after us. Cause, so yeah, God is always looking out for us. You know, try not to hate God. Just, just give me, give me a try you know just even if even if god has done negative things to you in the past don't 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 look at it as you know god hates me you know you have to un we have to, we have to un we have to understand as individuals that the devil's out there to wreak havoc in our lives and to destroy our destroy our happiness and it's not it's not everything is not everything that happens negatively in our bodies it, and, and what happens with us in our lives it's not not all of it not all of it's to do with God not all of it's to do with, with God's God not all of it's to do with God it's not always God's fault that's the thing we have, to, we have to try and understand that we have to we have to try you know if anything you know try and forgive God you know you, you might think it's hard hard to, Im to imagine human beings forgiving God but you know I'm sure I'm sure it's possible you know, you know, we human as human beings, we're guaranteed to make mistakes in our life, in our lives, in our lifetime. You know, look at look at look at a fellow human being, or or, or pick any human being, or any any random stranger on the streets, or any friend or anyone that you know, and ask all of them, or at, or at least one of them, ask them. You know, have you made mistakes in the past? And they can guarantee you and tell you that you know you know I've made mistakes even if it's even if it's a small one they they will tell you that you know I've made mistakes some some most some of them are major some are minor but everybody every human being is guaranteed to make at least one mistake in their lifetime so you know don't be don't be upset by me by what I've just what, what I'm saying to you about you know about seeking God because God only wants good things for us 
like the Bible says in the in Jeremiah 29 Jeremiah chapter 20, Je, Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 which, which Jeremiah is spelled J E R E M I A A sorry J E R E M I A A H so that's J E E R J E R E M I A H 29 ver verse verse 11 New King James Version NKJV it says V11 for I know the this is God speaking for I know the thoughts that I think up that I think toward you comma says the Lord comma thoughts of peace and not of evil comma to give you a future and a hope full stop I repeat it again V11 for for I know the thoughts that I think think toward you comma says the Lord comma thoughts of peace and not of evil comma to give you a future and and a hope comma sorry full stop so you know you know if if you if you've tried everything and you're just fed up fed up with life and you don't want to go on anymore just just look at the scripture and you if, if you if you're thinking if you're thinking how how can I how can I believe the Bible then just then just call me if anything you know if you don't trust trust the Bible then just just give me a call if anything you know my step my test my, my quick testimony which I've said in most of, in some of my in most of my videos not all of them but some of them I've said that I've been healed healed from a healed from a milk allergy that I've had for 12 years from 17 to about early 30s and and it was by prayer and pleading the blood of Jesus in my stomach how I and 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 by doing that I got healed within that same month so yeah so I hope this helps you and in in, in in understanding yeah so that's all I have to say for this video so God bless take care and peace be with you bye for now